Good morning. Up for day three. Um, getting ready to leave and head to McCall's. I thought I would do a really quick room tour since we're getting ready to go. Um, basically, I'm in one corner of the room and there's the door. Um, so, small room, but New York City, so what can you do? Here's our little bathroom. It only has a standing shower, no tub or anything. Little toilet, little vanity with some storage. And then we got a king size bed that we shared. And then outside, we're only on the seventh floor. Outside is some construction, but honestly, they weren't working over the weekend. So we haven't even really heard it until this morning. Um, so that was good. And then just a little desk area and a TV. There's a um, mini fridge and a little coffee maker that we didn't use either one of those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much else to say about it. Um, this is the Hampton Inn on 39th and between 8th and 9th Avenue. Um, really close to everything in the garment district. Close to lots of restaurants, close to Times Square. Um, I, I like the location of this a lot. They give free breakfast, which isn't like the most spectacular thing, but it fed us, sustained us. One less thing for us to have to worry about whenever we leave here. So yeah, that's it. That's where we stayed. I give it, I don't know, probably three and a half stars <laughs> out of five. It was noisy in the hallway, like we're right by the elevator. And so all night long, people coming and going. But anyways, so we are headed out. It's raining, so I'm not gonna be able to vlog on the way, but we're going to McCall's and I'll check in then. Bye. So you guys, you know, we've been around for goodness knows how many years, mm. since 1863, yeah. that's when Butterick was born. And then my grandma, so. Yeah, so... I bet um, you hear that a lot. My grandmother. No, you know. we have a ton of history. Yeah. A ton of history with us. Um, so we've, like, you know, over the years, um, we had a lot of sewing gadgets and things. Yeah. So we've done these little shadow boxes, old sewing tools. Oh, it's like your own little museum. That's yeah. cute. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little museum, exactly. So how many iterations has the office had? Oh, they've been around a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, inventory, like in your mind? Say it again? You have all of this inventory, like stored away in your no, mind somewhere? In my mind. Yeah, yeah. you're like, yeah, oh, I know mind. what would work oh, for yeah, that. In my mind, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah she's a great fabric researcher. I, 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 I've been doing it a long time, so it's yeah. a building process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they say repetition is everything, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so it's, it's, fun. It's cool. It's cool. And, you know, some some dates are older, but those are left up there as a reference. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Moo did have that. Yeah. Let me mm -hmm. come back and see what they have. So I have yeah. notes. Please ask me. I'll go to watch yeah. it. Wow. Or whatever. So. It's Very just cool. Such a good resource. And then, yeah, it's really neat. And then so back there are prints. I mean, basically, the prints are in the back uh, of the room. Collection, print collections, Robert Kaufman print collections, all are out there. I what are the latest in zippers? Don't guess coming, right? yeah. You know, so we we stock all this stuff. That's so cool. Yeah. And then when they make this sample, they just come pull from they, here. They come. Yeah. Well, uh, no, good. not pull. They order. Okay. Right. Occasionally we steal and order. Okay. Order the board. Yeah. Do you? But uh, mostly it's um, it's just an ordering. Cool. Uh, yeah. So you would go through here and you'd look and you you pick out your patterns. Wow. This is an 1876 18. pattern book. That is amazing. Yeah. Like, isn't, it, isn't it crazy? So, um, yeah, we get a lot of patterns even back then. Yeah, <laughs> you this. did. Yeah. And look at I the thought. details. The options are endless. It's crazy. So, I guess here's, you know, here's how we styled it. Yeah, I mean, look, she's like working out in the field. I mean, I don't know how many patterns you're making now where you, or she's playing croquet. Yeah. <laughs> it's active wear. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's the new athleisure. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Cute. And these are the ones that you're doing the the remake, the reproductions Reach. of. Reach. 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 Yeah. Um, so for Butterick and McCall's, um, they'll take a look at the 
design and then make it in-house. For Vogue, we do those with actual patterns. We have to have the actual vintage mm. pattern mm -hmm. because they want to recreate it. 100% accurate. I mm -hmm. think they even still use the same il um, instructions. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, that's how we do those. Skating so outfit. Yeah, oh, of course. Cute. Any secrets? Hats, boots. Hats and boots. Floor to ceiling shoes. Very cool. Oh, look, baby shoes. Mm -hmm. Neato. Flip flops. We just wrapped up at McCall's. It was awesome. Exciting. Yeah, it was very cool. I couldn't film a lot of stuff because they were all working on future, future patterns. patterns and so they didn't want any of that stuff to be on the internet, obviously. But what I can say is the new stuff looks really cute. Um, we got to meet like all the designers and see the studio. Um, I'm trying to think of other things I did in vlog. The pattern making, the muslin, illustrate, yeah. There was service. Yeah, everything. We went everywhere up in there in their office and it was really, really awesome. Um, so we are leaving here now and um, I think we're gonna, we got some suggestions from Meg and Peggy, who is their like fabric person. And we need to go to Broadway. And um, so of some stores that we hadn't heard of. So we're gonna go add those to our list. Anyway, so they, um, so they were really helpful. So it looks like it stopped raining and um, we're gonna make our way back to the garment district and get shopping so we will be in touch and it's stopped raining i know yep so we have made it to metro we're in the elevator heading up to the ninth floor and we're gonna go around the corner and you should see Hoshi sitting right there say hello <laughs> So we're gonna go in, do some shopping, we'll show you what we buy. Let's do, gosh, is that 45? Yes, 45, yes. So I need two. Back for it. It's for you. No. That is me. Um, I don't, how would I, Amber, help me. You go ahead.
So we stopped into this, well, new to us place called Butterfly Fabrics because we saw these cotton sateens from the window. So they have lots of really cute prints. They were like $8 a yard. Amber got this one. Um, mine, you can't see from here. Um, but yeah, Butterfly Fabrics. 237 West 35th and they're open every day. I, mean, I think he said like 8, 9.30 to 6, 8.30 to 6 every day. So they also have lots of like laces and dupionis and silks and sequins and all kinds of stuff. So that's where we went. We're on our way to Elliot Beerman now. And also Meg told us about a place that she can't remember the name, but she gave us the address. So we're going to go check that one out. Okay, so Elliot Beerman was like, I don't know, four stores down. Um, seventh floor, 225 West 35th um, on the seventh floor. So we're headed up there. We've never been to Elliot Beerman before. We both have won the social media contest. We've gotten fabric from them um, for free, but have never been to their store. So we'll see what it's like. Okay, so we are at Elliot Beerman. This is what it looks like very kind of like warehousey. Yes. <laughs> um, a lot of imported fabrics here from France mostly. Italy, we saw a lot of that. So I got a knit uh, viscose, aka rayon. Um, knit that reminds me a lot of anthropology. It's like really a cute tiny pocket tank. And I also got a really great cotton rayon woven jacquard maybe um that i think is going to be really nice i'm going to make like a pleated skirt maybe fit to flare dress i'm not sure and then amber is getting two knits one to make a top and one to make a dress um both florals so we saw a lot of stuff that we love here it is on the expensive side but not that much i mean a lot of the stuff that moved was like 12 to 14 dollars and this stuff was like $16, $18. So not that much different in price, all things considered, a couple of extra bucks a yard. Um, but everything here feels so good. Like all that rayon and their, that they import feels really awesome. So yeah, a couple more things added to the stash. Um, I'm not sure the plan from here. We only have like 45 minutes. So we might run by that shop that Meg recommended and then um, probably have to get back to the hotel from there. So check in soon. So we made it to the one that Meg recommended. It's called Prime Fabrics, 212 West 35th Street. And you can see they have like kind of a little bit of everything. Um, these are some laces. And some knits, I believe, back there. And brocades. Um, and Amber found um, a knit that she really likes, and it was like $8 a yard. So I imagine that's pretty reflective of the rest of their prices. Um, not super expensive, but not like chic, cheap either. Um, kind of in the middle. They have a lot of really cute stuff. Um, there's just so much of it and it's all so different that you kind of have to dig. Um, like for example, in this area, you can see there's like, it's not just solids, it's not just prints, it's kind of all mixed in together. So you kind of have to pull things out and feel them and look at them and, you know, see what you like. So, new store for us, Prime Fabrics. Also, um, as we were leaving Elliot Beerman, we talked to their owner, manager, um, Eugenia. And she said, she told us a lot of stuff that we didn't know. Um, they, on social media, used to be Elliot Beerman Textiles and they changed their name to EBT Fabrics. So on Facebook and Instagram, they have a newsletter. Um, so they're doing a lot more with social media on the retail side. They're mostly wholesale, but um, they do they are doing some stuff on the retail side but she said they're having a big sale april 10th 50 percent off so go and 
check them out and see if you like anything. Their stuff, like I said, is usually imported. Really high quality, really nice. Like we're both really excited about the stuff that we got there. So if you want to check them out and save a little bit of money, um, go to the sale starting April 10th. But I'll let you know if we get anything from Prime Fabrics where we are now. But this was a really good recommendation, Meg. Thank you. <laughs> If you've ever wanted to know how they roll the bolts at a fabric store, they've got this huge machine and they just take it off of one big one and put it on another big one. Cool, huh? Well, that was probably the biggest adventure of the whole weekend was cramming all that fabric into our bags. bags and half empty like book bags and over the shoulder bags it was still quite a feat. Amber had to use the extender on her bag. My book bag is filled to the brim. There's fabric in every single section and that whole thing is full. Plus Amber's got some fabric in her little red bag there. So we're hot. Our backs hurt. Our hands hurt. But we are on the way to the airport. We're on the New Jersey Transit train back to EWR, um, where we still have to check in and then go through security and then get to our gate. So we've got a lot of a lot of trouble ahead of us, but we got so many good things. I'm excited. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun. I think even if we had more time, we didn't have more space. So yeah, we couldn't we have had to check up, like luggage or yeah. ship stuff. Which yeah. We didn't do, yeah. So. Yeah. I didn't ship anything from Metro. I thought about it, but he wanted to charge me twenty dollars, and I was just like, you know, no, I can't make yeah, it. You can check all the bag for twenty five. Right. So. Exactly. So I thought that I would just try and grin and bear it and get the fabric home myself. And I all got it in. Amber even said she's like, well, I don't know where he put all that fabric. Yeah. I was like, it's, it's like, it's like the clown car of fabric. I thought we were going to be wearing them as scarves. I have heard people doing that. Yeah. Um, if you put it on your body, you can get on the plane. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we managed somehow. So we will um, get to the airport. We have leftover cookies from last night. So that might be dinner. Yeah. And um, just kind of relax. We're not in a huge rush to get to the airport. We don't board for another two hours. So we've got plenty of time to kind of take our time and not stress. So we'll see. so excited because we added another fabric store mm -hmm. to our favorites list. Thanks to Meg's Thanks recommendation. To Meg. Yes, all. exactly. It was the um, Prime. Prime Fabrics. We didn't get to spend a lot of time there at all. It was um, so much bigger than that. Yeah, it's like four times as big as Metro and they had a lot of the same fabrics for the same prices. So I think next time we go we'll hit up Prime before we hit up Metro. Um, just because they have a bigger selection and stuff, so um, that's probably her. Oh. Do you hear? No. Not okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we figured you wouldn't. <laughs> we um, were separated by a seat, and so we just asked the girl to swap with us. Anyways, um, 
so yeah, we added another store to our list, which was exciting. Really, honestly, the weather held out. Like I used my umbrella for like two blocks and then I never used it again. We were indoors a lot in Subway and then on the tour. So yeah, we weren't outside the whole time, but, um, but um, yeah. So it was good. I can't wait to get home and wash all my fabrics and I'll probably put a bunch of them in my COVID planner. To do a haul video. To do a full on haul <laughs> video. Okay. Maybe I can get Amber to do one on her phone and send mm -hmm. it to me and I'll include it. Um, but she's been posting a lot of her stuff to Instagram anyway. So hopefully you've been watching that. Um, what else? Yeah, maybe I'll do a video of putting my stuff in my Colette planner and kind of what my ideas are. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's been so fun. We are delayed on the way home, so we probably won't get home till late. So this will probably be my last update for the trip. But I really hope you've enjoyed the daily vlogs. It's been fun and interesting to do. I don't know what I feel about like whipping out a camera in public. People got, I got some weird looks sometimes, but whatever, who cares? Um, so yeah, this is it for this weekend. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along, and I will Welcome see you soon. Welcome to Oregon Express. Bye. Thank you for flying with us.